Hi guys, I am here today with a Sephora and a Walmart haul. I went to Sephora, I picked up a few things, I also went to Walmart, I picked up a few things from Walmart, so I wanted to show you guys what I got. I do want to say a disclaimer right off the bat. I love Avon products more than anything, but realistically, not every single Avon product works for every single person. So there are some things that I do like, some things that I don't like, but just to be kind of well-rounded on my channel, on my blog, on, you know, my different social media, I love to check out different products from all types of different brands so that I could be, a, so that I can be more accurate when I'm recommending products to people, whether it's Avon or whether it's not. So, stay tuned and I'm going to show you what I got. First, let's start with the Walmart stuff. Okay, first thing I got, Tresemme. Tresemme shampoo, can you see it? Can you see it? This one is the, the Extra Firm Control Tris 2 Spray Level 4. This is amazing. This is awesome, awesome, awesome. Because this one, it does not make your hair crunchy and it still makes it flexible, but it still gives you really, really good hold. So I love, this is my ride or die. I love this hairspray. I have yet to find one that I like as much as this one. I did, hold on. Let me get it. I did buy this one as well. This is the Aussie volume hairspray this one's all right it's it's not bad but it's not my particular favorite so i had to go back and get this one then i got the nail polish remover this is the equate brand this is comparable to the the cutex brand this is the tub that has the nail polish remover inside And then, you see it has a little sponge, so you just stick your finger in there. I love these little things. I love this so much better than when you're using like regular cloths because the little cloths, like the little fur things, they get everywhere and it's super annoying. And with this, even when the product runs out inside, you just refill it with your regular nail polish remover. And there, it's like new, it's awesome. Then when the little sponge gets like really nasty, then I just go back and I buy another one. Let me see what else I got. I got the new Soft Lips Cube. This, you see, I haven't even opened this stuff yet. Ugh. I've heard a lot of awesome stuff about this, and I'm always looking for a good chapstick or something good to put on my lips to help like exfoliate because my lips, they get so dry and like cracked. And then when I put lipstick on, girl, it looks nasty. So I always try to have a really, really good, a really good uh, lip balm on or chapstick before I apply any lip product, no matter what it is. So here it is. It's like a little ball, just like the EOS ball. This is the strawberry one. It really does smell like strawberry. And look, there it is. Let's see. Hmm. Looks like this one's gonna be pretty good. I will keep you updated on this and see how much I like it. Then I bought, what's this? This is the Equate Beauty Makeup Remover. This is Equate Beauty compared to the Neutrogena Oil-Free Eye Makeup Remover. Um, it's oil-free. Effective, gentle, removes waterproof mascara, no oily residue. I've never tried this one before. This is actually the first time that I'm going to try it. I've never even tried the Neutrogena one, to be honest with you. The one that I am using right now to take off like my waterproof mascara and stuff like that, when I have, on the days that I wear heavy makeup, I use this one, the Maybelline Clear Express. This was a recommendation from Kristen Game. I'll link her channel down below. She, this is her ride or die. And 
who else uses this one a lot? Um, they recommended it to me as well. Oh, Emily from um, Emily Noel in Beauty Broadcast. She recommended this to me. Kristen Game recommended it to me. And this stuff is amazing. I love it, I love it, I love it. But like I said, just to kind of be well-rounded, I love to try different products. So I was like, you know what? Let me try this one. Let's see how this one works. So this one is supposed to be compared to the Neutrogena one. So I'm gonna give it a whirl. The Maybelline one, that one, it's finishing up already. So I just wanted to stock up. There's a new Walmart that actually opened up in my neighborhood. So I went um, for the grand opening. It was awesome, by the way. Great setup. The store was fully stocked with everything. Oh my God, it was amazing. It's like I went to the makeup aisle and ha! Ah, it's like the gates of heaven opened. It was awesome. Every, like all of the products were fully stocked, all of the brands. They even had Milani and not a lot of Walmarts. They hardly ever carry Milani. And truth be told, a lot of Walmarts, sometimes, you know, in Miami, you go to the makeup section and they're kind of, uh, they don't have everything there. But this one was on point. So good job to you, Walmart on 79th and 32nd Avenue. You guys are awesome. I also got um, the Garnier BB Cream. Let's see, this is, um, I guess this is new packaging. This is the Garnier BB Cream um, with SPF 20. This is the Miracle Skin Perfector Daily Shine Control. It's supposed to control shine, minimize pores, even skin tone, hydrate, and protect. I got it in medium deep. This is for combination to oily skin. It's supposed to be oil free. Let's open it. This was a recommendation from Lizzie. From What Would Lizzie Do? Lizzie's the best. If you guys haven't checked out her videos, you guys seriously need to check them out. Her Friday whoop whoops are amazing. And she loves this stuff. She really, really does, you know? And I love to take different recommendations, you know, from different beauty bloggers and stuff like that. It's, it's awesome. So, this is what it looks like. Let's... That is a swatch of it right there. As you see, I'm tan complected, but I'm not so oh wow man for being a bb cream that's really pigmented look at that whoop whoop for real lizzie this was on point girl all right well i'll get back to you guys and i'll let you guys know how that worked out man i i need a wipe to take all this off Ooh. that looks really really pigmented for being a bb cream you know lately i i just really haven't been really into wearing like heavy heavy foundation i don't know what it is i think it's because of the different time of year my skin is really changing normally i have um i have combination skin in my t-zone i'm really oily and around my cheeks and my jawline i get ridiculous dry patches and now since we're kind of in the winter time here in miami it's like it's getting even worse and my skin is a hot mess so lately honestly all i've been using is a more powder foundation not a very heavy not a very um heavy liquid or cream foundation but in my favorites video i'll let you guys know what i've been using all right what else did i get i got oh i love this stuff this is the Garnier Fructis Damage Eraser. This is the hair mask. This, it smells amazeballs. This is amazing. I, <clears throat> I love it. I use it for me, for my two girls. Me and my middle daughter, Juliet, we have like, see, we got this curly Puerto Rican hair. And sometimes it's like, whoo, out to here. So, uh, weekly masks are very, very important in my house. And then my little one, my little Chicharron, she has like, dead straight Indian hair that girl does not even look like my child but either way I still use it on her hair because sometimes in the ends it gets a little dry and this stuff 
is amazing. I love it. I love it. I love it. Oh man, my battery's getting low. Okay, I hope I make it. All right, I also picked up two of the new Maybelline matte colors. These are, what's the name of it? These, these are the brand new ones. I don't remember exactly what the name of these are, but this is the cap. It has the matte, um, it has the matte cap. And this particular shade is amazing. Which one is this one? I got, this is Touch of Spice. And then I got this one in Lust for Blush. Girl, look at how pretty that color is. Look at that. That is beautiful. Mm. Let's swatch them. Swatch, swatch, swatch. Look at that. Oh, that one's gonna be pretty. Okay, that is Lust of Blush. And this one is Touch of Spice. Oh, they, they kind of look a little... They kind of look... A little bit similar touch of spice it's a little bit darker and lust for blush it's a little bit more mauve colored but either way I like them I tried the formula before and I I really do enjoy the formula even though they're matte they're very very creamy and they don't accentuate the lines on my lips so I really enjoy that then Milani came out with some new matte lipsticks as well. This is the regular Milani packaging. Milani lipsticks, they're like, they're like the next best thing next to sliced bread. They're amazing too. They are also, they're not, they're not drying. They're very creamy. They, they're super pigmented. They last for such a long time. The colors are great. All right, I got, I got three of them. This one is, this is Matte Naked. It's this one right here. I really hope my camera doesn't die. Then, this is Matte Blissful. Who told me about these? Um, oh, these were Tati from Glam Life Guru. Thank you, Tati. These are awesome. These are, okay, this is matte, blissful. I hope my lighting isn't too crappy, but I'm trying, girl, I'm trying, I'm trying. Let me see, and then this one, oh my God, I've heard so many things about this color and I'm so glad that Walmart had it. This is matte, innocence. I have heard so many things about this color and it really does i've seen it on lighter skin tones on darker skin tones and see that's like a beautiful nude so i will keep you more informed as i go ahead and i try these some more and then the last thing from the drugstore i picked up the new oh Oh, there they go. The new Milani blushes. I got this one is in T-Rose. If you can see it. And then this one is in Romantic Rose. This one is a little bit darker. See, I haven't even opened it. Mm. Sorry, I look like savage. But I haven't even opened them yet. I've literally had them sitting here just so that I can do this review. Mm. I promise it won't be much longer. Okay. Alright, so this is Romantic Rose. Oh, these are new matte ones. Alright, that's it right there. Oh, focus, that's it right there. I'm running out of places to swatch. Okay, that's it. Like I said, I'm, I'm working on my lighting. I just painted this room. So, I'm still working on it. You know, my walls are light green now. Before, it was like a, it was a, a darker brown, but I got tired of it. So I painted it green now. And then this one is T-Rose. I have never, ever, ever been disappointed with any Mono <laughs> Milani blushes or lip products. As a matter of fact, Milani's a great brand. 
I really, really enjoy their brand. You know, they really have some great products. Oh, all right, there's this one. I will say, I'm gonna be honest, this one is coming out a little patchy. I don't know how I feel about that. It's not as pigmented as I would like, but this one is a little, it's a little questionable there. It's a beautiful color. Like I said, this one is number eight, T-Rose. It's a really beautiful color, but I don't know, in that swatch, it came out a little patchy. But it could be, these are, if you notice, they're textured. So it could just be, you know, because of the fact that it was textured, that it's coming out a little powdery and a little chalky. But you can't always go by swatches sometimes. Sometimes you just really, really need to just apply it. And when you apply it with a brush and on the skin, sometimes you get a totally different finish than what you do like with a finger or a hand swatch. So you really can't always go by that. So I will keep you guys updated on these. And okay, now Sephora. I'm gonna be honest. I, I really, really enjoy going to Sephora, but I'm really a drugstore girl at heart. I love high-end products, don't get me wrong. But I'm a mom and a wife. I have three kids, I have my husband, and I have a lot of stuff going on. And sometimes it's just more convenient for me to go to Ulta because in Ulta, I can buy my high-end products and I can buy drugstore products. So I can go buy all the fancy stuff and then I can get like shampoo and conditioner and buy head and shoulders all at the same time. So sometimes it's just an issue of being more convenient. And where I live, I'm in downtown Miami. There, the two closest Sephora's to me are, well, the ones that I frequent, is the one in South Beach on Collins Avenue and 7th Street. And then the other one that I frequent, it's a much smaller Sephora. It's inside of the of my local JCPenney. And that one is in Westland Mall. So when I'm in Hialeah, I go over there. My husband works in South Beach. So if I go pick him up for work and I have extra time, then I will just discreetly go by Sephora and then I'll go inside. Now, what turned me off a lot about that Sephora was the management used to suck. Like, it was horrible management. They never had anything in stock. It was horrible. But lately, I've given them another chance and they've really stepped up their game, I have to say. Because the, oh my God, the staff is just so much more pleasant, so much more helpful. They, you know, the products are actually in stock. So it's not like a wasted trip. So I'm really, really excited about that. And I'm really, the two um, times that I've recently been there, I've been really happy. So I didn't get a lot in Sephora. It was basically out of convenience, you know, that I went and I ran in, in and out like a robbery. Went in, got what I needed and came out. Okay, I got the Anastasia Brow Wiz. Uh, my color is in dark brown. This pencil is amazing. Every Anastasia Beverly Hills, she can do no wrong in my eyes. Let me grab it because I have been using this. It has a spoolie on one side and then the pencil on the other. This is foolproof. You cannot jack up your eyebrows with this. I am really, really a big believer that your eyebrows frame your face. So I have those days where I will walk out of my house with not a stitch of makeup on. But I will not walk out of the house without my eyebrows done. Look it, I actually, I did my eyebrows with it. And I just, excuse the bags under my eyes, don't look at that. Don't judge me. But I love it, this stuff, it's awesome. Um, I also love the dip brow, that stuff is awesome too. But with the dip brow, I will have to admit, that's like for more fancy days, because with the dip brow, it's kind of a learning curve, you know? Because if you're heavy handed, you can really look jacked up when you use that product. But it's amazing, nevertheless. You just, you know, you just have to learn how to use a light hand with it, but it's amazing. I'm telling you, Anastasia Beverly Hills, she can do no wrong, she's awesome. Then I picked up the new Tartlet palette. This palette, I'm a neutrals kind of girl, you know? I love to go a little, I love to go a little crazy and you know, use color, you know, for special events. But like if I'm going out, meeting customers at home, out with the kids, 
I like neutrals. So this is a new Tartlet palette that just came out. And it's all matte. Look at it. Look at how beautiful. Look at how beautiful these colors are. Look at them. All right. The, this, see, that's the front of it. There's my camera. There's the front of it. This top row, like I said, they're all mattes. All the shades are mattes. But this top row, there are more brown, um, more warm colors. This row is more purple toned. And then this light row, this bottom row, they're browns as well. Neutral browns, but they're more cool toned. I'm trying to play more with cool tone because I love like the more um, the more warm tones. I think they look better with my skin tone, but I'm trying to open up my horizons, you know, and just try cooler tones. And I've done a few looks, and you know what? I've been really happy. Um, with this palette, I've been very happy with it. And when I wanted more cool tone look too, I, um, the Naked 2, that one is really good too. And then, just two more products and then I'm done. I promise. I got the chocolate bar. I got both of them because I was sitting there and at first, I'm going to be honest, when the first chocolate bar came out, I was like, uh, I don't know if I want it because honestly, as much as I love makeup and I, I have like a ridiculous collection, I really don't like to waste money on palettes that all look the same. Simple as that. I think it's kind of a waste, you know? I mean, if you have the same colors over and over and over again, just different palettes and different brands, it's like, it's gonna take you forever to use up that amount of makeup, you know? So I was very hesitant when the first chocolate bar came out. It's beautiful, don't get me wrong, but I was kind of hesitant about it, I'm gonna be honest with you. And then, when the semi-sweet came out, oh my God, they really do smell like chocolate even coming out of the box. When the semi-sweet came out, I was like, all right, let me look. So when I went to go buy the Tartlet palette, um, I was in the Sephora in, oh God, where was I? I was in Westland Mall. And I was in that Sephora and, oh my God, what's the girl's name? She was helping me. Oh man, I forgot her name. Elijah? No. Alicia. It was Alicia. Alicia, she was so sweet, so awesome. You know, she was just showing me the different new stuff that they had, and she was just so sweet. She was so helpful. And Alicia, this is all your fault. She convinced me to buy both of them. And, okay, this is the first. This is what the box looks like. It really does look like a chocolate bar. And when you open the box, mm, you smell the chocolate. I don't like chocolate, but I like the smell of it. I just don't like to eat it. And I've never been disappointed with Too Faced. Too Faced Chocolate Soleil, best bronzer ever. Even though you see like, I'm a little brown biscuit, like like Lizzie says, I'm a little brown biscuit, but you know, I still bronze every once in a while when I have my pale days. So, this is what it looks like when you open it. It has a little card here. It has, I hate it. I hate it when companies do this. I'm not gonna keep this. I'm gonna throw this out or one of my daughters is gonna like take it and run with it and then it's gonna be gone and then I'm not gonna know what color this is companies stop doing this but anyways look at the look at <sighs> you talk about purdy look at how beautiful this is look at this look at let's watch some of them oh my god Oh my goodness. Oh man, look at it. Like, look at that. I don't know if you can see it. I'm gonna have to buy a new camera. Because, or do something about my lighting. I don't know. Okay. Because you really, I'm such like a little honey biscuit that you really can't see when I swatch. You see? Trust me, they're pigmented. They're beautiful. And they really do smell like chocolate. So, this is the original chocolate bar. I'll probably have a review on this coming up or maybe a tutorial with it. To be honest with you, I, ha I really haven't played with it yet. I, um, you know, I just haven't had a chance to play with it. You know, I kind of had this stuff just sitting next to my desk for me to film this haul and I've just been so busy that I haven't had a chance. But this is the chocolate bar. This is the semi-sweet. 
this is what it looks like this one is a little bit lighter still the same packaging the same container when you open it this is what it looks like it has a little card it has a little card here it has you know a decent sized mirror not that big these are the colors beautiful 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 look at this beautiful pop of blue let me tell you i will rock a blue eyeshadow i have no shame in my game i will rock a blue eyeshadow i think it was for the last super bowl i don't even know i don't even know who was playing but i'm such a good wife that i asked my husband i was like baby what teams are playing and then he told me the names of the teams and i was like okay what team are you going for and he had told me oh, i'm sorry guys my camera died i'm telling you it was my girls they were playing with the camera and they killed my battery and i just had to charge it a little bit okay so last item like i was saying the semi sweet chocolate bar it's awesome it's pretty it really does smell good i can't wait to try this maybe bring you guys some tutorials on this so that is it for today i hope you guys have a wonderful day I will see you soon, and thank you for so much for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video, and I love you guys. Bye.